Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how we can make use of the uh, variables that you have declared within your Terraform code or within your Terraform configuration files. So in the last session, we had discussed about how you can declare your variables. So here, if we look at our main.tf file, and if you see here, I have declared three variables. Okay, so one is the uh, region, so that's the variable name basically. So that's the region. Here is the instance type, and here I have declared the image AMI. Now again, depending on your requirement, you can declare multiple variable blocks. But as of now, for this example, I'm using three variable blocks. Now, once you're done declaring these variable blocks, how do we call these variables within your resource block or within your provider block? That is what we are going to look at. Once again, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started with this. So within the module that you declared a variable, so basically wherever you have declared your variable, the value it can be accessed from within the expressions using this. So basically here to call these variables within the same configuration file, we make use of your var dot name. So var here is your uh, key. And then the name is simply the label or the variable name that you have given in the variable block. So in this case, this is the label. Likewise, this in this variable block, this ec2 underscore instance underscore type is the label name or the variable name. So ideally to use this variable, we will be using var, which is the key dot and the label name. So the value assigned to a variable can only be accessed in expressions within the module where it was declared. So basically within the same configuration files where the variables are declared, you can access the value only within that configuration file. So let's say for example, this is the code we have and here I've declared my variable. So this is the variable block and image underscore ID is my label name, then the type of uh, data type. I'm giving it a description and also I'm giving it a default value. Now to call this variable here, this is how we call the variable. So var dot the label name. So here, whatever the label name we have, the same name we use. So here var is the key dot the name of your variable, All right? So how do you assign the values to the variable? So one way, if you look at the code over here, I've used a uh, default value. So default is one way. So before we go there, let me quickly, uh, let's let's call this variables over here. So this will be var dot and the label name. So when I execute this, what will happen is Terraform will uh, look for this variable. So it will go to that variable block and whatever the value, in this case, I've given the default value, it will pick that default value. So likewise, over here, I can say var dot and this will be the label name. Likewise, for the AMI, I can say var dot and the uh, label name or the variable name. So let's quickly initialize this. So Terraform init will initialize my Terraform code because I've written it for the first time. So once your Terraform code is initialized, let's generate a plan over here and you will see that Terraform will read the variable values and it will replace it accordingly. So here, if we go to the top, you will see here the AMI, it is picking the value. Likewise, the instance type, it is picking the value and then so on. So depending on the variables that you have declared, right? Terraform will be able to read those values accordingly from your variable block, whatever we have defined over here and it will replace it wherever we are calling those uh, variables. So uh, it's not recommended that we should be hard coding everything. We should be rather uh, declaring the variables like this and then call those variables wherever required. Now, there are different different ways that you can pass the values to these variables. One is obviously the default. Let's look at the other ways that you can pass the values to your variables. So how do you assign the values to your variables? So when variables are declared in the root module of your co configuration, you can set the values to your variables in a number of ways. One is your Terraform Cloud workspace. So Terraform Cloud is a different concept altogether. We will be talking about that uh, later on. So you can declare your variables within the Terraform Cloud workspace. 
Uh, you can also individually pass the variables from the command line by using this hyphen var flag. You can also make use of your variable files, variable definition files, which ends with .tfvars extension, either specified on the command line or you can automatically load the file. And then you can also declare your variable values as an environment variable. So there are different different ways that you can pass the uh, variable values. One is obviously the default one, which we are seeing over here. And if you don't pass this, then these are the other ways. So you can make use of the cloud. You can um, pass it from the command line itself by using the var flag. You can define it in a separate file and then you can load from that file. And then finally, your environment variables as well right so uh, what is the precedence your terraform uh, uses when you talk about the variable definition so the mechanism for setting these variables can be used together in any combination so you can uh, declare it like i said you can you, you can make use of the environment variables or you can pass it from the command line or you can have it in a separate file so there are different different ways and you can use any combination you want uh, we will be talking about these in in the next upcoming sessions so if the same variable is assigned multiple times, Terraform uses the latest value it finds overriding any previous values. So basically, there is an order in which the Terraform looks for the values. And if you have declared the values in multiple places, it will always pick the latest value overriding the previous value. So note that the same variable cannot be assigned multiple values within a single resource, meaning let's say you are declaring the variable value in a file now you cannot declare uh, multiple values for the same variable in single resource so terraform loads the variables in the following order with latest sources taking precedence over the earlier ones so your terraform will first look for the variables in your environment variables then it will look in any of your terraform.tfvar files if present. Then it will look in the terraform.tfvar.json file if present. Then any uh, star.auto.tfvars or star.auto.tfvars.json files if present. Um, so here this is uh, you can you can give a custom name if you want. And then any hyphen var and hyphen var hyphen file options on the command line in the order they are provider so this is the order in which terraform looks for the values whenever you are declaring your variables and yeah this will override so always it will let's say you have declared the variables uh, values in all of these uh, places it will always pick the latest value overriding the previous one okay so it will first check in the environment variables if it does not find that then it may check in your terraform.tfrs if not, then in the tfvars.json, then auto.tfvars or auto.tfvars.json and then finally hyphen var or hyphen var hyphen file options on the command. So this is the order in which your Terraform looks for the values for your variables. All right. So that's all for this uh, session. In the next session, we will be talking about uh, how you can pass your variables from the command line to values. So so here, if you see, we have used the default one and the next session, we won't be using the default one. Rather, uh, we'll see how you can pass the values from the command line. So basically the different ways that you can pass the values to your variables. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video. Thank you.